Welcome to Rural Gear Reviews. I'm Mark from RV Love, and today we're talking about the Pepperball Non Lethal Personal Defense Launcher. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Rural Gear Reviews. Again, this is Mark from RV Love, and today we're talking about the Pepperball Non Lethal Personal Defense Launcher. And that's a bit of a mouthful, but basically what this is, is a self defense weapon. As former law enforcement, I'm very familiar with personal defense weapons, both being lethal and non-lethal. Julie and I out on the road, we get a lot of people asking about personal safety. A lot of people wonder about the safety of being out in these RV parks and out in the boondocks. Personally, I feel just as safe, if not safer, in our RVing life than I did in our traditional life. Neighborhoods can be just as unsafe as out camping, but a lot of people do have that concern and if a weapon like this gives you an increased level of safety, security, and peace of mind, that would be money well spent. This is a humongous step forward in self-defense weapons. The previous generations, you know, with pepper spray and tasers, they had their pros and cons, but this weapon goes so far ahead of those. So when the folks at Pepperball reached out to us and asked if we'd be interested in reviewing this product, I was actually very excited to be able to check this out, compare it to what I've experienced in the past, and share that with you. This is the Pepperball launcher in my hand here. It looks like a flashlight, so it's able to be carried at all times, so it's immediately accessible. Um, so it's about 11 and a quarter inches long, about two and a half inches diameter, and it weighs a little bit less than two pounds. So it's a little bit hefty, uh, feels very sturdy in your hand, but it might be a little heavy for some folks, but it's, it still weighs less than my old mag light, you know, that had the D batteries in it, very common flashlight. But it's not just a flashlight. You can see that there is a flashlight lens at the front, but you'll also see there's an empty area and a screw on end. The screw on end is so that you can load a new air cartridge and the back side of it there's another screw on end to be able to load ammunition. As I mentioned earlier this is a launcher. This is a pepper ball launcher. So what it'll do is actually shoot pepper balls at a distance of up to 60 feet which is a pretty significant distance. That's basically our full length of our RV and our tow vehicle behind it, or a more common reference for people not in the RV world would be three SUVs lined up end to end. Being able to hit a target 60 feet away is a gigantic leap forward in self-defense. The design of the Pepperball Life Flight I think is very thoughtful in that the controls for the flashlight are on the bottom with your index finger whereas the launcher controls are on top of the life light. This is a double safety weapon in that this pin would be used for when in transport or when in storage, but when it's being in use, maybe out on a walk, you would then remove that secondary safety pin, leaving only the single safety. The single safety is a slide. When you slide this forward towards the front of the flashlight, it then exposes a red trigger. This red trigger will fire projectiles. The pressure on that trigger is a little bit firm. You do need to press it fairly firmly to be able to have it fire, which is another reason why I encourage everyone to practice with a weapon like this before you need to use it in an emergency situation. But when you slide this trigger forward, it also activates a laser. What's great about having a laser sight is A, they're very accurate, and B, the laser light alone may be enough to deter a threat. Your worst case scenario, this is also fairly hefty. It could be used as a blunt object if you ever did end up in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. But with a 60 foot range, I would like to think that you could immobilize a threat from a significant distance without ever having to get anywhere close. All right, let's go show you how this works. We'll set up a target and fire off some rounds so you can see this in action. Good job. Yeah. 
So I'm a small woman, I'm about four feet, eight inches tall. I'm not trained in the use of arms or any kind of martial arts. And so there are times when I feel intimidated or don't feel safe because I'm not a very strong person physically. And so carrying the life light does make me feel safer and gives me more of a sense of confidence that I've got something to help protect me should I be faced with a situation where my safety is being at risk. If I want to go for walks alone or if I'm out at night, say I'm going out for dinner with girlfriends and I can take this with me, leave it in the car, carry it in my handbag. <laughs> so I would need to be a pretty big purse because this is a, this is about almost a foot long. It is a little bit heavier than I was expecting, but it also feels really sturdy. So when it came time to actually fire the Peppable Life Light, and that of course is really recommended you do to, so you feel comfortable in how to use it when you're faced, if or when you're faced with the situation. Um, I did find that it was a little difficult to do just with my thumb. I'm right-handed, so depressing that red trigger was actually a little difficult for me. So I used both thumbs, and with the pressure of both thumbs on that red trigger, I was able to fire that inert pellet with just the powder, but it was definitely more challenging for me to do it with just one. I really like that the laser shows me exactly where that uh, pepper ball is going to land so I can feel confident that it's going to hit my target. I'm not trained in firearms like Mark is and so this is actually the first time I've fired anything in my life. So you can see the damage this caused just from 20 feet shooting this plastic uh, shoe and boot mat. You can just imagine the sting that that would cause even just the impact of the ball hitting you. Uh, we were 20 feet away. I think even at 60 feet it would definitely shock or stun somebody but at 20 feet definitely would cause more than a sting I think and that's even without the impact of the pepper powder that would be released upon impact. This is a huge step forward in civilian personal safety weapon but pepper ball is not new to the scene. Pepper ball as a company has been around for a very long time. They've been around around 20 years. Uh, they have actually been using these pepper balls in law enforcement and military for peacekeeping missions and for large crowd control. Now the powder filled balls, it's not an oil base and so the powder is more easily dispersed when it hits a target. In fact, when a target is hit, the cloud from the powder can disperse up to 12 feet. So what's great about that is that you don't actually have to have a direct hit to have impact on your threat. Uh, 60 foot range and if you shoot this just in front of that threat, the cloud would burst in front of them and would very likely impact them. So what's included when you purchase one of these pepper ball launchers? It has the pepper ball launcher itself. It will have five live rounds with the pepper irritant. It'll have 10 inert rounds. It'll have three CO2 cartridges and a lanyard to attach to your wrist so that you can keep your hands free if you like. There are a couple additional accessories available for the life light. Uh, one is a wall mount. So you'd be able to mount it to the wall in your home, maybe near a door or an entry. You can also buy a rechargeable battery to replace the two batteries that it comes with. Uh, another would be a holster. So if you want to be able to carry this on your hip instead of in your hand. The flashlight is a 350 lumen flashlight, which is a really nice level of light. It lights up the area very well, but it's not so bright that it looks abnormal. I think that's one of the primary features of this Pepperball Life Light is that it does look like a flashlight. A weapon, no matter how powerful, is not going to be of any use if it's not available. And by it looking like a regular flashlight, it's easy to have the Life Light in hand. So if there was a situation, you would be able to activate this weapon and put it to use in only seconds. So how does it work? This front area of the launcher, this empty area, this would be where the pepper balls launch from. This of course is the flashlight, that's the laser light, and this is where you load the CO2 cartridge. You unscrew this front area with the CO2 cartridge. Once that's released, you would slide a CO2 cartridge down in there with the narrow part first, and then re-secure it by threading this back in. It is important to note that with the design of the Pepper Ball Life Light, that CO2 cartridge does not get punctured until the first time you press a trigger. That's important because that means the CO2 cartridge can remain in the weapon for extended periods of time without having any air seepage, meaning it's ready at any time. If you ever do fire this weapon, perhaps doing some practicing with the inert balls, Definitely replace that CO2 cartridge whether you've shot one or if you've shot five because once it's punctured it will lose some air pressure over time and could render the tool ineffective when you need it. On the back you'll see another area that you can screw this loose. 
this you just push in and give it a quarter turn and it'll release and there's a plunger and this is where you'd insert the ammunition into the back of the flashlight give that a quarter turn to resecure it and this is ready to go it's very simple to load and reload the pepper ball life light the pepper irritant is a very significant weapon and will immobilize the threat for approximately 15 minutes so it's not permanent but it will be very severe for the first five minutes and up to 15 minutes which is a lot of time for you to exit and find safety. The price of the Pepperball Life Light is $299 and that's for the kit that includes the Pepperball Life Light launcher, five live rounds, ten inert rounds, the lanyard, three CO2 cartridges and the two CR123 batteries that operate the flashlight. It's relatively small in size, so it would likely fit in many car glove boxes or in a side drawer next to your bed or in a drawer in your kitchen or any other area of your home. You might choose to carry this in your boat, in your RV, uh, in your SUV or when you're out camping or even if you're going out shopping and you want to be able to carry this in your handbag. Remember this is a self-defense weapon and some states are more strict about the possession and use of those than others, uh, so be sure to check your state laws when you have one of these and you're traveling with it, but it will unquestionably be much more accepted than a firearm. Having a self-defense weapon like this could give you a lot of self-confidence, a lot of ability to feel like you are in control, and a lot of peace of mind. So what do I think of the Pepperball Life Light? I think this is an amazing product. This is a humongous step forward in self-defense weapons. And this could be a great deterrent, not only for two-legged threats, but also some four-legged threats. Now, whether you're out camping and, and have some aggressive wildlife, or if you are walking through your neighborhood and there's an aggressive dog. I think this is an excellent solution for anybody looking for an effective, less lethal weapon for personal security. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found this informative and helpful. If you have any questions at all, please leave those questions down in the comments section below. I'm more than happy to answer those for you. We'll of course put links to the product in the description below as well. Please check back to Road Gear Reviews regularly for new videos. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.